I love to go to school, you know, and play with all me mates. I get a smashing feeling as I walk in through the gate. I go into the classroom and there's a sudden hush. Then all the kids jump up and shout, let's read with Basil Brush. Let's read with Basil Brush. <laughs> Hello, Basil. Hey, what have you got there? <laughs> It's a sweet. Would you like one? Uh, no, thank you. Hmm? Too many sweets are bad for you. I'm only eating one. Well, make sure you do. Right. <laughs> hey, you've done it again. You've huh? got another sweet. So I have. I wonder how that got there. I saw you take it out of the bag. Would I do a thing like that, Mr. Yes, Howard? Yes, you would. Would what, Mr. Howard? Take another sweet out of the bag. Oh, thanks very much. Hey, <laughs> that's it. I've had enough. I haven't. <laughs> hey, will you come out of there? Look, look, if you don't stop, we won't have time to read the story. Oh, why didn't you say so? I like stories, Mr. Howard. Go on, you can take the bag away. Really? Yes, I don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. I'll suffer. And <laughs> very strong will, W. Basil. It's empty. Of course it is. I'm no fool. <laughs> you... Don't, don't you hit me. Teacher's watching. <laughs> right, what's the story about then, Mr. Howard? Well, I'll give you a clue. Yeah. In today's story, Pepper has something in a bag. His hand. Hand? Yes, it's a handbag. <laughs> come on, come on. It isn't a handbag. Oh. You have something in a bag that you can eat. A bag that you can eat, eh? It's not a bag that you can eat. Oh. You have something in a bag that you find in a fish and chip shop. Oh, I see. Mm, so today's story, story is called Pepper my, and my Uncle Reggie. Your Uncle Reggie? He works in a fish and chip shop. Pepper and the chip. Oh, all right. Pepper and his mum had been shopping. Swapping what, Mr. Howard? Shopping! Oh, I beg your pardon. Now they were on their way home, feeling yeah. tired and hungry. Suddenly, Pepper stopped and sniffed hard. His mum had poked him in the eye and he was crying. His mum hadn't poked him in the eye. Why was he crying then? He wasn't crying, he sniffed hard because he could smell something. Oh! <laughs> Must be the drains. <laughs> Not the drains. Oh, the Chips! I chips. can smell oh. chips, said Pepper. Oh. Mum looked across the street. Yeah. That's where the smell is coming from, she said pointing to a fish and chip shop on the corner. Oh. Come on, we'll have some chips for dinner. Oh, lovely. Come on, come the chip on, come shop on. was full. Yeah. There was a long queue right up to the door. Yeah. But Pepper didn't mind waiting. He stood on his tiptoes and he peeked over the top of the tall counter. Yeah. He could see the man frying pieces of fish and the lady... Frying pieces of fish and the lady? What was he frying the lady for? He wasn't frying the lady. Huh? He could see the man frying pieces of fish and the lady wrapping up bags of hot chips. Oh. I'm so hungry, said Pepper. Yeah. I could eat ten bags of chips. Ten bags of chips? Well, he was hungry. Cool. At last, they reached the front of the queue. Yeah. And what would you like, asked the lady behind the counter. Please, can I have the biggest bag of chips in the world, said Pepper. No, you can't, said the lady. And she hit him round the head with a piece of wet fish. No, she didn't. Oh. Everybody started to laugh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, you sure she didn't clobber him with a bit of wet fish, Mr. Yes, Howard? I am. Oh. The lady wrapped up the chips. Yeah. There you are, she said, handing them to Pepper. I hope you can eat them all. Oh, I could, Mr. Howard. I love chips, I do. I will, said Pepper. Mm, with lots of salt and vinegar. Mm. I will, said Pepper. So it all runs down your chin when you eat them all. Oh, That's oh, enough. God. Enough, I've only just started. Mm, mm, mm. I will, said Pepper. Yes. But not until we get home, said yeah. his mum, yeah. as she put the parcel of chips into her shopping bag. She's a meanie, his mum. On their way home, Pepper and his mum met Mrs. Bear. Have a chip, says Pepper's mum. No, she didn't. Oh. Hello, said Pepper's mum, and they started to talk. Yeah. Well, they talked and talked and talked. Like you, you mean? Yeah, no, not huh? like me. Oh, sorry. Pepper was standing next to his mum. Yeah. He peeped into her shopping bag and he saw the parcel of chips. Oh. He sniffed. Mmm, they smelt delicious. Oh, I bet they Oh, did. I do wish they'd stop talking, he thought closely. Huh? Then we could go home and have our dinner. Stop talking? I've never heard of chips talking before, Mr. Hull. chips weren't talking. Oh, I bet it was Pepper's mum and Mrs. Bear. Oh, I like Mrs. Bear. But Pepper's mum and Mrs. Bear didn't stop talking. Oh, and the smell of hot chips got stronger yeah. and stronger. Oh. Pepper couldn't wait a minute longer. So he went back to the chip shop and bought some more. No, he didn't. Oh. He slipped his hand into his mum's shopping bag yeah. and carefully took out the bag of chips. Get away. I'll eat them while they're talking, he thought. While the chips are talking? While his mum and Mrs. Bear were talking. Oh, I see. He unwrapped the paper, yeah. but as he started to eat the chips, yeah. he suddenly heard his mum saying, we must go now. Pepper's chips will be getting cold. Oh, I love chips, you know. Yes, I know, but mm. Goodbye. G goodbye? Where are you going, Mr. Howard? I'm not saying goodbye. 
Well, somebody just did. It was Pepper's mum. Oh, Pepper's mum. Goodbye, mum. she said to Mrs. Bear. Oh, I like Pepper. Pepper quickly Bear. pushed the parcel of chips into the nearest shopping bag. My Auntie Hilda used to have something to carry her shopping home, you know, Mr. Howard. It was old, tatty, and a bit frayed round the edges. An old shopping bag, Bertie. No, my Uncle Bertie. <laughs> At last, Pepper and his mum got home. Yes. You've waited long enough for your dinner, said yes. mum, yes. reaching into her shopping bag for yes. the parcel of chips. That's funny, she said. Huh? The chips aren't here. Funny? I bet Pepper wasn't laughing, was he? No, he wasn't. No. She opened the shopping bag wider. Yes. They've gone, she oh. said. Yes, the bag was empty. <gasps> oh, no, said Pepper, wanting to cry. Oh. I'm sure I put those chips in my shopping bag, yes. said mum. Where yes. can they be? Yes. He remembered taking the chips out of mum's shopping bag, yes. and he remembered putting them back. Yes. So if they weren't in Mum's bag, they yes. could only be yes. in Mrs. Bear's shopping bag. Good thinking. I know where the chips are, shouted Pepper, yes. jumping up from the table. Yes. Just then, there was a loud knocking at the door. Yes. Rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat. It was the man from the chip shop. Pepper's mum had forgot to pay with the chips. He wasn't the man from the chip shop. Oh. When Pepper opened the front door, yes. he saw Mrs. Bear standing there holding a newspaper parcel. So Pepper shut the door on his foot. No, he didn't. Huh? He didn't want a parcel of newspapers, did he? He wanted a parcel of chips. She didn't have a parcel of newspapers. She oh. had the chips wrapped up in newspaper. Oh, I bet I you're found these chips in my shopping bag, she said. Uh -huh. They don't belong to me. Uh. I think they must be yours. Thank you, said Pepper. Oh. They do belong to me. Oh. So at long last, Pe Pepper sat down to eat the biggest bag of chips in the world. Oh. And he ate every single one. Oh. <laughs> my Uncle Bertie used to work in a chip shop, you know. He was a boxer. A boxer? What does a boxer do in a chip shop? He batters fish. Do <laughs> <laughs> I say, Mr. Howard? What? Shall we read the story again? All right. I'll read it with you this time. Are you time. ready, Basil? Yes, I'm ready, Mr. Howard. Come on, then. Ready? I can smell chips, said Pepper. I can smell chips, said Pepper. I am so hungry, said Pepper. Oh, I'm so hungry, said Peppa. Everybody started to laugh. Everybody started to laugh. <laughs> they talked and talked. They talked and talked. <laughs> he started to eat the chips. He started to eat the chips. The bag was empty. Duh, the bag was empty. I know where the chips are. I know where the chips are. Thank you, said Pepper. Thank you, said Pepper. Oh, oh, I did. Very good that. of Mrs. Bear to take the chips back to Pepper, wasn't it? Oh, it was. Mm. You know what it would have been if she'd eaten them herself? No. Bear faced cheek. <laughs> oh, hey, we could make a picture of a bear with my card. Oh, you know. must we? Yes, come on, get him out. Come on, All right. Ooh, and now, what do we need first, Mr. Hart? Well, we'll need a furry face, won't we? Oh, come on then, find a furry face. Oh, hey. There. <sighs> Furry face. Ah, furry face for the furry bear. Right, what comes next? Well, bears have furry bodies, don't they? Well, go on then, find uh, a furry yeah. body. There we are. Furry oh. body. Oh, a furry face and a furry body. What do we need next? Well, we need some legs. What kind of legs? Furry legs. Ah. And there we are. Find some, that's it. Oh. Furry legs. Uh, furry face, furry body, furry legs. Whoa, oh, is that your bear then? Yes. Furry face, yeah. furry body, furry legs, that's definitely a bear. You sure? I'm sure. Oh, come on, let's have a look. All right. <laughs> I can't furry wait. face, <laughs> furry body, <laughs> furry legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest looking bear I've ever oh, seen. Oh, you've <laughs> done it again, haven't you? <laughs> the time has come for us to go. We hope you will agree. It's been a lot of fun today for you and him and me. Goodbye from Mr. Howard. Goodbye from Master Brush. Until next time we hear you shout, let's weed with Basil Brush. Let's weed with Basil Brush. Oh, oh.